Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this MuleSoft Open API tutorial, we are going to cover how we can create API specifications in any point platform design center. And we will be specifically seeing that how we can create JSON based Open API 3.0 specifications. This video is part of a series of uh, MuleSoft video tutorials in a playlist where I'm covering different topics related to MuleSoft. Let's look at the details of the topics that are going to be covered in this video tutorial. We are going to see how we can use the power of uh, AnyPoint Platform Design Center to create API specifications using Open API 3.0, and we will be creating JSON-based specifications. Recently, uh, support for Open API 3.0 has been introduced uh, in MuleSoft, and now we can get uh, um, benefit from the power of open API 3.0 specifications and when we are creating API specifications we have two options we can go either with the JSON based uh, specifications or we can go with the YAML based specifications so for this tutorial we will be creating open API 3.0 specifications in JSON format in another video uh, I have already covered how we can create RAML based uh, API specifications if you are interested to learn about that, uh, I'll put the link in the in the suggestion box as well as in the comments. So the scenario that we are going to cover for the uh, for this tutorial is that uh, we will be creating specification or a, for a very simple uh, RESTful API, and that uh, will be a tutorials API, and it will have only one resource, and that resource will be uh, tutorial resource. And for that resource, we will be uh, providing two methods. We will have one get method, uh, which will be returning details of any specific tutorial based on a path parameter. So we will have a URI parameter with the name of tutorials, a tutorial ID. And based on that ID, details of that tutorial will be returned. And then we will have another method, which will be the post method. And this method will be used to insert a new record for any new tutorial. So example will be, we will have tutorial ID, we will have tutorial uh, title, we will have description, and maybe we will have author. So uh, we, will have, we will be creating a simple uh, API specification. So now let's uh, jump into the actual part of this tutorial and go to design center and see how we can do all this uh, in real. So I'm already logged into anybind.mulesoft.com. And in the design center, I will choose this option, create new. So once uh, you click on create new, you have multiple options. Let me zoom it a little more so that you can see it properly. And we have the option to create new API spec. So it says that it defines how, how the API will behave and how it communicates with other systems and APIs. So we are going to create the specification. So I'll click on this new API spec. And here we are going to give a name. So let's give it an MS tutorials media demo API and then here if you see we have multiple options for the specification language you can go with RAML 0.8 or 1.0 you can go with OS 2.0 with both JSON and YAML options and we can have uh, OAS 3.0 open API specification 3.0 with JSON or YAML option so let's go with OAS 3.0 JSON option and then just click on this create api spec so once you click on this create api spec then you will be able to proceed with the creation of all the required resources and methods or whatever details you want for your api so by default based on the uh, details that we selected previously we have uh, some of the information already populated where it shows open api version which is 3.0.0 and then we have uh, information object which has version 1.0.0 which is uh, the version of our api and then we have the title this is the title that we provided now uh, we can uh, go ahead with any other information that we want and if you enter and if you just uh, uh, choose uh, control and uh, space option uh, on your keyboard you will see that other details which are available other options that are available you can utilize for example if i want to add description 
I will write this is a simple API spec by Tutorialspedia. And don't forget to put commas, otherwise you will see the errors. And then I'm going to add another detail, which is going to be the contact detail. So contact in the contact object, we have the option to add email, we can add name and we can add URL. So I'm going to add name and URL. For the name, I will just add Tutorialspedia. And for the URL, I will put the URL of Tutorialspedia website, www.tutorialspedia.com. All right, so based on this, we have populated the required info uh, information, uh, which is uh, required for this API. Most of them are optional. You don't need to uh, put all of this information, but it's better if you put more information. More is always better uh, in terms of the API documentation and API specifications. Now here, what we are going to do is that we will be defining the paths and we will be also defining any of the components. So any of the schemas that you need for your uh, uh, API specification, for that you will be creating the components. So, so I will prefer the approach of first creating the components. If you see here, you have other options. You can have, uh, you can add servers, you can add tags, you can add security related details and various other options, but we will keep it not that much complex. And we will uh, try to add as um, only those in, um, uh, objects which are important and, and compulsory. And let's uh, add the components. So inside the components, you can see here that uh, what are the options available. And we are going to add schemas. And inside the schemas, I'm going to add tutorial because that is the schema that I want. And then I want to add any details for this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a description. Uh, this is tutorials schema and then i'm going to add properties you have other options but let's directly jump into the properties the first property i want to add is tutorial id and for this property i want to add the details for example i want to add the type this tutorial ID is of the type integer and then I'm going to add example so the example will be one two three in a similar way uh, we are going to add more properties the second property I want to add is tutorial title and for this one I'm going to add details and for this example since this is integer so I don't need to put these uh, quotes so it should be in the integer format so now for the tutorial title I'm going to add in a similar way I'm going to add it and its type is going to be string and then I'm going to add example and example is going to be simple title so this is just an example and if you see here, you have other options which you can play around. For example, if you want to specify a description, you want to have any default, you want to have any enum uh, for enumeration uh, for a specific set of values, and you can have uh, max length, min length, and many other plenty of options are available that you can uh, play around. So the next property that I would like to add is tutorial description and for this one i'll specify the type as string and let's add an example and the example will be let's put sample description so now we have added three properties for this uh, tutorial schema now what we will do is that we will define another uh, we will define another schema with the name response because we want to make sure that when we send the response that is also in a specific format so let me add response 
I will name it as response and this schema will have different properties for example if you see here uh, the first schema is tutorial and now we are going to add properties for this second schema let me add a description first response schema so i will name it like this and then i will add properties and properties for this response schema unlike uh, the first schema where we we have uh, multiple properties you can see tutorial id tutorial title and tutorial description in this case we will have only reference id because we will use this schema to send a response which will be containing a reference id whenever a record has been inserted and for this one we will set the type as string and we will put an example for example abc-234 this is just an example so now we have uh, we, we have already created two types of uh, schemas now let's start creating the resources so inside inside the paths we will first create slash tutorial slash and then a path variable tid which is tutorial id so this will be the first path, first uh, resource and let's add a description and we will write in the description let me increase the size so that you can see it better and in the description i will write let me zoom as well this resource returns a specific tutorial details and then after this i will add the details for example what kind of uh, methods i want so i want a get method and for this get method let's add a description get a specific tutorial and then i would like to add parameters let me type parameters so if you see here it's in the form of an array with the curly brackets which means that we can have multiple parameters but in our case we need only one parameter so i will add the parameter and in the in i will choose as path as it's going to be a path uh, parameter which is uri parameter and i will give it a name let's give it the same name tid and then uh, i will specify schema for this and inside the schema i will specify the type as integer and after that i will just give an example an example will be since it's integer we don't need code so i will write just an example 234 right now you see it's everything is in error because we have to add the response we haven't added the response yet so after parameters let's put a comma and then we have to add responses so in the responses we are going to add response for 200 okay and here we are going to set a description i will write success response and after this uh, i will specify the content in the content we will specify what kind of response it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, json applications like json and then i'm going to add schema reference so in the schema i will write dollar ref and i will be referencing to tutorial so because uh, whenever the user will send a request 200 ok response will be returned along with the details of a tutorial so in this way we have successfully created our first resource there is still some error ah required property so there is another property that we need to add so 
let's add the property required and we will set it to true as we want to make sure that this tid uri parameter is always sent so it's some mandatory parameter in our example now what i want to do is that i want to add for the post as well so if you see here this is the first resource tutorial slash tid so after this i'm going to add another one for the uh, for my for the other case of uh, post method so i will put slash tutorial and for this one let me add a description to post details of a new tutorial and after this if we want to add any additional uh, properties we can do but before that i want to add a method so i'll do post and in the post let me first add a description actually description i'm adding redundantly but let's add it for the sake of adding for the sake of nothing as a new record this is not a proper description but i'm just keeping it simple and for the post i need to add a request body so i'll choose this request body object and in the request body uh, we need to add content and in the content i'll choose json as we want json type request and then inside this i will choose schema and for the schema i will refer to the same component that we created for the tutorial so in this way i have created this but still it's an error because we haven't added a response so i need to add the response as well for this post so this is the request body which is ending over here so i'll put a comma and then i will add responses and the response will be 200, 201 which is created response normally we set for the post method and here we are going to add a description success response for post method just a dummy description and then after this we are going to specify the details for the response so i choose content and inside this i will choose json and i'm going to specify what kind of json we are going to return so i'll choose schema again i will refer to another schema that i created which is the response schema so in this way we have created our response schema as well and if you see now everything we have done basically what we have done is we have all the details of the information info object where we have version title description and contact details then we define two schemas under the component one is for tutorial and one is for the response after that we added uh, very uh, two parts first one is with the uri parameter which is slash tutorial slash tid and this one has only one method which is a get method and it returns the entire details of a specific tutorial based on the tutorial id and then secondly we added another slash tutorial with post method and in this case it is expecting in the in the body a tutorial object and in the response it is returning a response object and that response object is nothing but just a reference now if we go here mocking if we enable the mocking service to make it public so if we make it public and after that if we try this if you go to the documentation and you see we have two endpoints we have uh, tutorial slash tid and we have slash tutorial so if we choose this slash tid one let's try this one and if you click it and try it you can see here that tid we have because we gave the example 234 you can give it any value for example if i pass 223 as the tutorial id and i just click on send we should be re receiving 200 okay response along with the details of the tutorial so if you see here we have tutorial id this is one two three because uh, we have put as an example one two three this is not based on the input and then tutorial title and tutorial description 
In the similar way, if we try the post method, tutorial slash TID, or not this one, uh, if we go over tutorial, and if you see here, we have only post method. If I click on this post and choose try it, and here in the body, this is the example. Let's make it anything like 129. And if we send it, you can see we got 201 created response. And based on the success object that uh, schema that we created, we got a reference ID ABC-234. This is ABC-234 because this is the example value that we have specified. So this is how we create uh, JSON-based uh, Open API Specification 3.0 schemas uh, specifications in uh, AnyPoint Studio, AnyPoint Platform in Design Center. And once you have created this, obviously the next step will be to publish it to Exchange. And once you publish it to Exchange, after that you can go to your AnyPoint Studio, you can import it, and then uh, scaffolding will take place, and then you can do the actual implementation. And as part of API lifecycle, once you have done the implementation, you will be deploying it into the Cloud Hub or uh, into the any any runtime that you want, and then you can uh, apply the policies. So that's the entire lifecycle. But the focus of this tutorial was just on uh, API specification that how you can create API specifications in Design Center. So that's it from this video tutorial. I hope that the information that I have conveyed is helpful for you. I haven't gone into the nitty gritties and much of the technicalities related to OAS 3.0. Of course, you can always go through the documentation and that will help you to understand it more. And uh, for any other topics related to MuleSoft, you can always refer to the playlist that I have created with various videos on different topics. And you can uh, also write in the comment section if you have any confusions or if you have any doubts or if uh, you want me to cover any other uh, to related topics. Thank you very much.